hi everyone let's solve x plus x to the power of 3 equals 10 right and then if i were you i'll write x to the power of 3 plus x equals 10 and then i will now see if 10 can exist in this form okay 10 can be 5 plus 5 but that's not what we need x to the power of 3 plus x can be 6 plus 4 but that is not what we need x to the power of 3 plus x can be 8 plus 2 and that is what we need because 8 can be written as x to the power of 3 so x to the power of 3 plus x is equal to 2 to the power of 3 plus 2 then when you reposition you're going to have x to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3 then plus x minus 2 everything is 0 what if we group this and simplify and group this again and simplify a cube minus b cube is the same thing as a minus b into a squared plus a b plus b squared so if this is true then we can write this in this form a minus b is now x minus 2 a squared is x squared plus a b is going to be x times 2 that is 2x plus b squared is 4 then plus we have x minus 2 as we equate this to 0 and then looking at this and this they are the same thing so x minus 2 is a common factor here we have x squared plus 2x plus 4 then we have plus 1 and then we equate everything to 0 x minus 2 is a common factor then from here we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 because I'll add 4 and 1 and then our x minus 2 equals 0 or this is equal to 0 but I'll pick this first before picking this one so x is 0 plus 2 and this means that our x is equal to 2 the value of x from here so we we'll go over to this and then we we'll equate it to 0 okay so we have x squared plus 2x plus 5 equals 0 and um, we're going to use this formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac as we divide by 2a then our a is from the equation and is 1 the coefficient of x squared our b is 2 still from the equation the coefficient of x and then our c is the constant from there which is positive 5. now we substitute into this formula so that x will be place of minus b we write minus 2 plus or minus then the square root of b squared is 2 squared minus 4 times a a is 1 and what is our c 5 okay we will still divide this by 2 times 1 and 2 times 1 is 2 so x will now be minus 2 plus or minus 2 squared is 4 4 times 1 times 5 is 20 then we divide by 2 because 2 times 1 is 2 and um, x is what minus 2 plus or minus we have the square root of 4 minus 20 is minus 16 then we divide by 2 if you go ahead now x will be equal to minus 2 
plus or minus square root of 16 times square root of negative 1 all over 2. So that x will be minus 2 plus or minus square root of 16 is 4 times square root of negative 1 is i. Everything is over 2. If you go ahead, your x will be minus 2 plus or minus 4i all over 2. And if you must know, 2 can always go there. So we get minus 1 then plus or minus. 2 will go here again. We get 2i. And um, this is x equals minus 1 plus 2i or minus 1 minus 2i. And um, let's bring the three solutions together. We had x2 before now to be equal to, sorry, that's x1 to be equal to 2. Then our x2 is from here, which is minus 1 plus 2i. Then we have x3, which is minus 1 minus 2i. So these are the three solutions to the problem.